what I'm hearing right now in my mind is forgiveness. I'm hearing so. Throughout my life, I had a lot of relationships, and a lot of them was, you know, I had a lot of, you know, it was a, it was kind of up and down. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of feelings of rejection and feelings of abandonment. A lot of that going on. And throughout life, I felt like, you know, a lot of this is called, you know, a lot of this, a lot of people are doing this to me. They're doing that to me. You know, I feel like, you know, you know, why is, why do I, why do I feel so cursed? I feel cursed. You know, the enemy used to make me believe that I was a cur- that I was a cursed man and that I, you know, am uh, sentenced to a life of just constant um, rejection. And for a while, it felt so real and so true, you know. It felt so true for for a very, very, very long time. And up to now, uh, and throughout those years, I prayed and I asked God, please, Lord, send this person, send that person my way, send the good people my way so that I can, you know, I can have that relationship, that healthy bond, you know. send At this point, send me some, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ. And right after praying that, I prayed that prayer, like, back in 2013. Mm-hmm. And right after praying that, the job I was working at, a um, uh, woman came in the store. She came in, like, two or three times. She would always say, hey, you want to come join my church? And I'm like, yeah, God, come, or, you know, whatever, whatever I, you know. And I, I wound up going, and and, I, and I've never seen this this before, but the people there, they were in, the way they interacted, I've never seen that in a church before. They were really just, like, personal, you know? They really, you know, welcomed me. And it was a Pentecostal church at the time. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, this is that prayer that I've been praying for. It's answered. Finally, I got, you know, people I can connect with. And, um, and after a while, I started learning some of those people, and it wasn't what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just constantly, again, I'm feeling like, man, why every time I, you know, it, it, as years, years went by, I'm feeling like, why every time I, you know, try to connect with people, it's like the relationship goes sour after a while. And that's why, you know, I started believing the cur- in curse because I've, I've had preachers tell me, you have a curse coming over your life. And I'm like, what do I do about it? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You're going to just tell me I got a curse and not tell me what I'm supposed to do. Like telling somebody something and saying, "All right, bye bye." I'm like, okay. And so that even more led me into believing I was cursed. Um, and so you know, as time went by, I you know, relationship after relationship, failure, failure, failure. Um, and I constantly was being hit with loneliness, and that is a place where the enemy really works at. When you're lonely and you're not in the word as much and not really. You're kind of like straddling the fence with God, and, and nobody's perfect when it comes to our relationship with God. Like we all still fall short from the glory of God. You know, God understands us, but it's 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 a certain degree of responsibility responsibility that we do have on our part when it comes to God, and what what we have to do. You know, because it, it's a relationship; it goes both ways. You can't just expect God to just pop up and just fix everything. It has to go both ways. You know, and um, and just as time went by, it just you know, I found myself going into a lot of sin because I was doing that because of a lot of hurt that I was feeling. Because I, like I, like, like I felt and believed, and I'm not taking responsibility for what other people did, but I did believe that you know I was being hurt by a lot of people and I was being thrown away. And some of it was true. You know, it was people out there that was just you know didn't really care for me like that. And um, but as time went by, you know, as a lot of you know a lot of different experiences. And up to this year, I was talking to someone recently this past week, and I had a revelation. And okay, I had a revelation that, um, you know, a lot of stuff that happened was because of me. A lot of, I put myself in a lot of the situations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of, um, God was showing me that, you know, I didn't call you to be in those relationships in the first place. 
you did a lot of that that out of desperation. Mm-hmm. And you know, I find myself, you know, apologizing to a lot of people that day. I was like, you know what? I take responsibility for what I did because, you know what, I see what I did, you know. And some of them re- received it, some didn't, and that's okay. Um, but I'm just telling you guys, um, just be mindful of your walk. Just be really close, you know, just constantly ask God to reveal, um, allow you to see yourself and who you really are. Let me see who I am, Lord. And a lot of things I didn't like what I saw. I didn't like the person I saw. I didn't like, you know. But, again, I've come a long way now, you know, just through my experiences that I've had this past year. It helped <laughs> push me in the direction where I'm at now. I'm like, yeah, let me not do that no more because I ain't trying to open that door up no more. Let me kick that bad habit out of here <laughs> because I don't want to go through that again. Lord, no, because it'll be twice as hard. Just me and Peter were saying yesterday when Peter was telling me, you got to kick that door closed, Rashad, and don't believe those lies because, the enemy's just trying to find a way in there, and it'll be twice as worse. <laughs> Seven more of the buddies will come in right behind, and it'll be even worse. Um, but it just a lot. It was just a newfound revelation of myself, and I still feel that way in my heart. Even though things have transpired the way they have, I still feel the same way when it comes to taking responsibility and then really taking heed to God's warning, because there's a warning sign before destruction. Any relationship you get into. God is telling you from the beginning, this isn't it. Because and He's trying to protect us, but you know we're so we 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 want to meet these we want these desires met that we feel that we we want and that we we long for. But a lot of the stuff we have to find in God. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of that we need to look for for in God and look for healing. You know, and be and be true to ourselves, like. Be ready if when you ask God to show you you, be ready for whatever he tell you. And be willing to say, okay, God, I need help. You know what I mean? I need help up here. Because up here, my mind is not right. My mind is something's going on in my head, and I honestly need you, God, to come in and change it and really help me. And so um, that's my testimony. God showed me me, and he's still showing me me. And he's healing me, too, from a lot of hurt that I feel right now. Because some things you just can't, you can't change. No matter how much you try to fix it, try to get it to, you know, you got to get to a point where you got to wash your hands clean with it, no matter how hard it hurts. That's in your, your relationships. Well, God, when there's so much turbulence and you're trying to help get things God is saying, just let it go. And it's hard. I know it hurts me so bad. It feels like, oh, the loneliness again. I got to be alone. I like when I had that because that was, because I, I, that's what I'm missing. And God is going to feel that. I know he's going to feel that part that I've been missing. And that's true love, true friendship, that part of the, I've been missing. And he knows I long for it. He knows my heart. He knows how much I long for it. That's it. That is very good, very good, very strong testimony. Some of uh, the one thing that Jesus says, and then I'll turn on the rest of the mics. The one thing Jesus says is, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But when everything that's wrong with you is everybody else's fault, my mama's fault, my daddy's fault, my man's fault, my woman's fault, my brother's fault, my sister's fault. They did this to me, so I ended up being a monster. They did that to me, so I end up being an emotional cripple. I can't help it. I'm jacked up, toe up from the flow up. Woe is me. And a lot of times, until we get to the point where we see the part we play, that and only then, can we actually get the healing that we're so desperate to get? And when God sees us looking with open eyes and open heart saying, Lord, I really do want to see the truth. And when you see it, you acknowledge it and say, Lord, why? I never saw that before. Help me. Help me here. Help me here. Take away the selfishness. Take away the self-centeredness. Take away the self-absorption. 
take away my manipulations, take away my lies, take away my rationalizations, everything. Time you get through, you start seeing God doing a miracle in you. And even though your situation may not change, yeah. everything in here causes you to react differently and feel differently about it. It's not always a negative. It's not always ugly. It's not always a, a depressing situation. God will show you. No, the ugly, the sad, and the depressing situation was your condition, not the situation. So that's what I love about God as he takes you from glory to glory, from strength to strength. And that's what he's doing with you, Rashad. He's taking you from strength to strength. In Jesus' name, God bless you, babe. Thank you for sharing that. That's going to help a lot of people because a lot of people have a very difficult time saying, Lord, it's not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Because I didn't know what was y'all sharing. And so when I was sitting here hearing him speaking for the first, like, for most of the part, he was talking about all the relationships and stuff. And then in my mind, I was thinking this, there's something missing about what he's saying, you know, because in all the things that he said, he was, he was missing his own responsibility. And then when I thought about that, he, you know, that's when he, he came out and said it. And right. that makes a big difference. I remember I learned about that of myself, too. Like when I was going through a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. it was easy to like point out all these things that other people did, you know. But then I didn't really look at myself and how I turned out, even like, you know, how I reacted to it or, or what my responsibility was. And only until then did I realize that I changed or like that I was not in the right mind, you know, and that I needed, you know, you can't really, you can, you can sit and, and, and you can sit and think about all the things other people did, but the, they're, they, they're not going to change because it's their responsibility to change. But in not every single relationship, there's always two people, you know, and so there's always what you could have done or what you did as well. And, and without realizing that thing, then you will not heal, you know. And that's exactly how I, like, you know, my, my last relationship it was really terrible. I've never been in something like that before. But because I was able to, I mean, I, there was some, there was always some points where, like, you know, I didn't take responsibility. But when I did, I was able to let go and not hate, you know, that person or not get angry, but, but actually uh, heal from it a lot quicker than normal because I took responsibility from, from my own action, you know, in myself. Right. 